Hello and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Willow, coming back at you with a new video. So first and foremost, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, so thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, helping me out with that content. Stay a bit if you like. And if you are an old subscriber, what's up, gang? Hey, <laughs> great to see you again. But yeah, without further ado, happy Memorial Day, first and foremost. Happy Memorial Day, or Labor Day, or whatever the day is. <laughs> but today, I want to show you guys five steps on how to manifest your favorite things. Now, I know I did a video on Lucky Tuesdays, and we're all about that Lucky Tuesday, but what if it's any other day of the week, and you really want to manifest your favorite things? Well, I am particularly good at this. I've become a master manifester, if you will, and I'm not just being cocky. It's becoming scary how fast I'm manifesting. So I thought, what better, better, pardon me, what better way to share this than to go ahead and share you guys the secret. So five steps, we're gonna go over how to manifest your favorite things using the law of assumption. So get comfy, let's go. All right, <clears throat> so step one on how to manifest your favorite things. Get clear on what you want. Step one, we wanna get clear on what we want. This is very important because I'm gonna give you an example. My entire outfit today, I manifested, but I had to get clear on it. I really wanted this choker, right? I wanted this choker and I wanted it to be this particular type. I wanted it to be surfer girl. I wanted it to be very beachy. So on step one, get clear on what you want. You don't wanna say, I just wanna manifest a necklace. You guys know you want your favorite thing. I don't wanna just manifest any house. I wanna manifest my dream house. I don't wanna manifest just any love interest. I wanna manifest my soulmate or my specific person. You see why it's so important? Because we can't write down the things we manifest if we don't know what the heck we're even manifesting, right? If we're just in general, I wanna have a good day. All right, what's a good day to you? Does it mean you get free ice cream? Does it mean people compliment you? Oh, I wanna manifest some jewelry. Okay, what type of jewelry? Cause you gotta know what it is when the universe gets it to you. That way you can put these success stories like me. All right, so step one, get clear on what you're manifesting. Step number two, this is also really important. You want to visualize yourself wearing whatever you want to manifest. So we're just going to go back to the necklace idea. The necklace idea. We're going to go back to the necklace example, right? Before I manifested this, I imagined myself wearing it. I imagine, oh my goodness, I'm going to feel so hot when I manifest this choker. I'm going to feel like such a cute little surfer girl. I'm going to feel like I live in California, which is my dream place to live, by the way. And uh, it's going to really, I'm going to feel very excited. So visualize yourself wearing it. Another thing for step two on visualizing, you can actually create a vision board on Pinterest. Super easy. All you got to do, you go up on Pinterest, you say my manifestations or you label it uh, dream outfit summer outfits dream house particular person a uh, specific person right and then when you go to that board you're going to save what you want and i actually did this with the surfer necklace i i saved it to my skateboarding pinterest right and then it happened to me so it was so cool so step two Visualize yourself wearing whatever you want to manifest or being with whoever you want to be with and also create a vision board if you like. You don't have to, but I'm a visual person and it helped me. Cool. So step number three on manifesting our favorite things is going to be kind of challenging, but I know you guys can do it. Step three is called set it and forget it. So what I did with this necklace, right? I didn't wake up every day and say, oh my God, I'm so discontent. Oh, I am so ugly. Oh, I'm not fashionable at all because I don't have this necklace. No, that's ridiculous. I simply said, I really, hey universe, hey higher self, I really desire to have this necklace. I feel I would look really cute in it and it will increase my confidence. But I am still 
confident. I am still content. I am still grateful. I'm still fabulous. I'm still hot without this necklace. I have several, so it's okay. I don't need it, right? So you're gonna set it and you're gonna forget it. Whatever it is, if it's a particular necklace, particular shirt, ice cream, your, your specific person, your dream house, your dream job, whatever it is, you set it, you already put your intention out there, you visualize it, you gotta let it go. You gotta forget about it. Now, not completely, because there's gonna be things that remind you of it, but the main thing I want to express from step three, you are perfectly content, you are perfectly hot, you are perfectly whole, you are perfect the way you are, and be grateful for what you have now, because that's gonna bring it in faster, because it's a little secret, we wanna bring it in faster, so we're gonna be content now, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that brings me to step four on manifesting your favorite thing. To manifest your favorite thing from step four, I want you to set no limitation when you see your dream outside in the real world. So what do I mean by this? When I used to do something that was kind of bad, when I was walking around Walmart and I would see, oh my God, there's my necklace, I would see it. I used to, before I knew the law of assumption say, that's never gonna happen for me. I'm never gonna have enough money. My money, my bank account doesn't reflect that now. So that's cool, but that won't happen for me. Uh, 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 no, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. You're fired, you're fired, right? <laughs> no, what you need to do whenever you see your dream house, your dream person, your dream necklace or dream shirt, I don't care how much money you have in your bank account. I don't care if you have $5. I don't care if you have $0 you're going to set no limitation. You're going to see that necklace and you're gonna say, it's only a matter of time before I manifest it. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I know that that is mine and it is coming towards me. Maybe I'll buy it, maybe someone will buy it for me, maybe it'll be a gift, maybe I'll get it for free, but I do know that that necklace is mine. So set no limitation on yourself for step four on manifesting your favorite things or manifesting a dream house, job, person, whatever. No limitations at all. It's yours. It's only a matter of time. Bam. <laughs> so step three, the last and final step is accept it. So many times we get imposter syndrome, especially as women, but also as men. We feel like we're not good enough for this job. We're not good enough for that person. We don't deserve to live a fabulous life and travel around and be incredibly attractive and have fun and travel and adventure, right? And we feel like, oh, maybe I don't, maybe I don't deserve to have that cute outfit. Maybe I don't deserve to have all this riches and to be wealthy. That's not true, guys, that's not true. You gotta be open to receiving. And I talk about this with your feminine energy, being open to receiving, letting go of control, and allowing, because your manifestation is gonna come whatever way it wants from the universe. Sometimes it'll be a gift. Sometimes someone will buy it for you. Sometimes you'll get it for free. Sometimes you are gifted the extra money from the universe, from all your hard work and positive attitude to go buy that. So step five, don't psych yourself out, accept it. So I'm gonna tell you a story on how I manifested this entire outfit that made me feel very lucky and happy, right? And I had to accept it. I've always wanted to manifest a particular choker that was like this. I wanted it to be brown. I wanted it to be surfer girl style, style, Lord, <laughs> pardon me, skater girl style. I also really wanted a dope shirt from Florida, Daytona Beach. I wanted it to be lavender or this is more blue, lavender blue, right? Doesn't matter. I really, really wanted this necklace though, so much. And I remember a week ago, I was walking through Walmart to get some toothpaste and essentials and I saw my necklace, I saw it and I was like, oh! and a part of me wanted to say, that's not you. But then I saw it and I said, you know what? This is mine. It's only a matter of time before it comes towards me. Fast forward to yesterday, Sunday. I'm going to Daytona Beach with my family. I'm going to Daytona Beach with my grandma, my aunt. My grandma really wanted to buy a hat. Now, remember from this story, I'm not asking for it. I'm not getting it. I don't have that much in my account at the time. My grandma's like, hey, look, there's a shop right next to Daytona Beach. And my grandma saw a sign, three t-shirts for $20. And so she's like, oh my goodness, Willow, let's go. And she's like, here, pick one out. And I was excited, just happy to be there. I was like, I bet. And I always wanted a shirt like this, so I got it. And I remember though, 
we were about to leave, right? And before we left, I saw this jewelry thing and I saw my necklace. I was like, oh my God, there it is. But I was like, I'm not gonna be selfish. She already bought me a shirt. I'm just gonna look at it, admire it and go. I noticed my aunt was actually looking at a bracelet there and she's like, huh, I kind of like these and we're about to leave. And I was like, wait, do you want a bracelet, Aunt Miriam? And she said, yeah, but I don't know. And I was like, girl, go get you a bracelet because I just had that energy, that good energy of my favorite thing. I didn't care if I didn't get one, but I wanted her to get one. So I said, Aunt Miriam, go get one, go get one, girl. So she's looking through it. I'm like helping her uh, pick out which one. Does she want the purple one or the blue one? And then she said, well, do you want one? And my grandma's like, buy her one. And I was like, okay. So in that moment, I stayed calm. I didn't freak out, I didn't like, Wah! I just like, okay, if I was gonna buy one, it would look exactly like this. I even held a brown one up and I was like, nah, it's the white one. And she bought it for me, guys. So not only did I get this rad new shirt that I always wanted for free, I manifested my favorite necklace. My grandma also gave me this new earring. I've been wanting one. And before we left, I've always wanted to get ice cream when going to the beach. I just imagined, visualized myself being at the beach being warm and relaxed and then licking some ice cream. My favorite flavor of all, it's an exclusive flavor. They don't sell this back in where I used to live in Memphis, Tennessee. It's called Superman ice cream, right? My mom used to buy a whole tub of that growing up and I would just eat it with my sisters. So we're walking around, my grandma's like, we might not get ice cream. I don't know if we can find one. And then I smelled it and I was like, look, there's an ice cream parlor, let's go. So we walked in. I shit you not guys, out of all the flavors, I was attracted to one where it was yellow, red, and pink, and rainbow. And that was the Superman ice cream. So I asked grandma, can I get this? And she said, yes. So on that day, I manifested my favorite necklace, a shirt I've really been wanting, and my favorite ice cream in the whole world that they don't even have in the state I used to live in, in my old hometown. That is the power of manifestation. That is the power of visualizing. That is the power of doing that with zero dollars in your account. But remember from step five, you must accept it. Be open to receiving, know that you're worthy, know that you deserve it. So thank you guys so much for joining this Law of Assumption video. Be on the lookout for my spiritual school. Within a few days, I will be releasing the first two courses for my spiritual school. And I'm really excited to see you guys there. I'm also gonna do a mini course, but I will be launching a video explaining everything about it. So thank you guys so much for your support. As always, I'm open for birth chart readings tarot personal readings and hedge ride classes. So thank you guys. Peace out.